Hello, and welcome back to Red Leader Plays Fire Emblem Three Hopes. Last time, I think uh, we actually rescued Monica, and we actually saw Tomas transform into Solon. So that's actually re really uh, big, actually, because <laughs> we I did not expect it would happen that early, to be honest. So I think this time we're back at our basic encampment and we're basically just going to be talking with the students again. We got a few quests it looks like. So let's just talk with a lot of the uh, other people first. This way. I am Gilbert, charged with commanding the Knights of Seros in the coming battle. Should the need arise, I hope you will rely on me. I will not permit any harm to come to the students of the Officers Academy. Tell me you're... you're reassured. <laughs> That's good to hear. I can tell that you know a lot of, to do with the sword. It is perhaps the one by saving grace. Hmm. However, does that mean every one of the blue lines will be joining us? Let's see. Yeah, I guess Annette must have had some reasoning for not coming along, huh? I suppose so, yes. And that Gilbert? Uh... I guess it's just- oh, it's just all my uh, students- uh, or classmates. <laughs> I'm so used to saying students because of three houses. Oh, that's right. Oh. That I think about it, I heard something when we were leaving Garrick Mock. Eventually, Professor Yuritsa set up for the Imperial Capital along with the Black Eagles. And if I'm not mistaken, most of the Knights of Saros have had some sort of business which kept them from joining us on, on our mission. I'm certain it's not the Academy related, but I wonder what Annie and the others are, are doing. Are you okay with? Are you? Are you sure this is okay, Ash? Lorenato was once servant of the Grand Duke, after all. Hmm. Yes. Uh, I learned learned of, of these uh, cir cir circumstances. He told me uh, to hold what I believed in was just. There. <laughs> Let's see. Lorenato is your adopted father, right, Ash? He sounds like quite the man. Thanks. I hope I could just be like him someday. Let's give it a go. Which is exactly why I don't want to do. I'm gonna do. What I believe, Ingrid. Don't worry. <laughs> Maybe you are really suited to be a night ash. <gasps> Glowy blue thing. And a book or a letter. Do do. <laughs> I love the Grand Duke. He tried to harm his highness on countless occasions. His highness first co campaign was suppressing the rebellion in the west. That was too a plot of the Grand Duke. Only because of House Vardarius did his highness emerge unscathed. Assassination attempts continued unseasonally in the palace after afterward as well. And given to what happened to King Lambert and Dusker, well. his Highness must be aware of the man's ill intent. Dimitri! <sighs> Got a sec? Don't look so glim, Dimitri. They've been fights with their families at some point in their life. <laughs> <laughs> you, have, you have a wit like a rapier. Perhaps I do well to pick up to pick up on a bit of that cheer. I have a massive, I have a message, a miss, missive? I had a missive sent to my uncle, but I wager I not re receive a, a, a reply. I implore you. Please continue with, with preparations so we can set out to meet if, if the fighting starts. Rodriguez. Nice day we're having. Well, now, are you a student at the Officers Academy? I am Rodriguez. Arkeel Fraudalius, the very man at the center of the Milestorm we'll find ourselves in. 
You have my apologies for getting you involved in this recent discord. Introduce myself. Hey, the name's Shez. I'm working with the Blue Lions, at least for the time being. Then we are well met. Would it bother you? The military strength will be essential if, if we take the royal capital. So I would ask for your aid in the matter if that if that all possible. And who's up here? Oh. Hmm. Got a second? Hey, cheer, cheer up, Felix. Your dad's getting worried. I know how unpleasant it feels to have to have people make weird claims about your family. <laughs> Don't act as if you, you got it all figured out. Sort of the thing would never bother me. <laughs> so if that's not what you're bothering you, why would you look so, like you got punched in the gut? Because of a certain somebody's ind indecision is making me sick into my stomach. Not good. Look, if that if you're that concerned about his highness, you should say just say something to him. <laughs> why would I do the job of cheering him up to, to, to fault me? Alright, back in the rest before the battle kicks off. Greetings. You have my thanks. I see you have spoken with everyone. The, the consideration is much appreciated. We shall depart the moment that everything everything is ready. Please be sure to, to rest well until then. Yes. Let's go. Let's prepare for battle. The Duke has stamped out most of the troops who invaded Fraldarius. As things stand, a clash on royal soil and eventually within the capital is inevitable. As you are the only blood kin I have, my lord, I pray we might find a way to resolve this conflict peacefully. Bah, what rubbish. He sings of conciliation, but I know a threat when I read it. What the heck? Shouldn't you take better care whoa, of a whoa, letter from your Cornelia. dear nephew, my lord? He's not expecting a reply. The creature means to slay me. Your fear of Prince Dimitri runs deeper than I thought. You shouldn't have missed your chance four years ago in Dusker, or two years ago during the suppression of the rebellion. That's twice you failed to kill him. I've learned my lesson. A lion's cub is still a lion, and one cannot slay a lion with a clumsy scheme. It's those monstrous eyes, Cornelia. They terrify me. The boy is a vicious animal. Yet he attempts to feign actual grief that we can't find common ground. The aberrance of it shakes me to my core. <laughs> I understand completely. Every night since I killed my brother, I dream a lion is ripping out my throat. You'll run yourself ragged if you live your days in fear of revenge. You were meant to rule Fargus, and you have the power to make it so. Your royal army is the finest in the realm, and if I may be so bold, you also have me. Put your worries to rest, my king. Sleep deeply and without fear. I'm so utterly tired. Tired of being afraid. Tired of what I've become. All of it. Okay. I see. And how much longer until Talus gives the word? Oh, Talus. Uh, I was expecting when I would hear him. I know only that something is amiss in the Imperial capital. Curse it all! I am not waiting a thousand years for that doddering old fool to act. Rally the Western Lords and their troops, and be quick about it. Have them make ready to intercept that whelp. As you command, Cleopulus. According to our scouts, the enemy has positioned their troops on the capital streets. So they can use the townsfolk as shields when we take the fight to them. With vulgar tactics. Well, now that we know their strategy, our next move will be critical. A victory stained with the people's blood achieves nothing. We'll need to move our forces swiftly, but with caution. Dudu, has there been a reply from my uncle? Nothing of yet. Mm, I thought not. Your Highness, will you truly be able to strike Rufus down when the time comes? I will do what is required of me. Preparations are complete, Your Highness. 
The people are waiting for you, Dimitri. Let's not keep them any longer. No, we'd best not. You're our commander, but you look like you're heading for a funeral. Could you maybe try not being so insufferable? Jesus, Felix. <laughs> Apologies <laughs> for my demeanor. I have more than a few things on my mind. <laughs> I understand where you're coming from, because like you can't be dwelling on this sort of thing, but Jesus, Felix, you don't have to say it like that. Not very well. Let's begin our final war, Council. You look pale. Not keen on fighting your own blood? Sadly, I saw this fight coming long ago. Then what's the problem? Now that I've brought the fight to the streets of the capital, I wonder if my actions are right. Most of the people here favor keeping the royal line of succession. That's because my father and the kings before him maintained peace inside these walls. But ever since my uncle seized power, the people have been forced to endure his licentious reign. Did you know they asked me to assume the throne before my time at the academy? They said only a true king could undo Rufus's misrule. So why didn't you? Because it would have divided the kingdom. Just as it's doing now. Yet had I supported my uncle's claim, it would have been open rebellion. And the only way to prevent such a rebellion is to invade the capital and kill the regent. In other words, I cannot restore my grandfather's peace without first breaking it. Aw, Dimitri. In that case, there's no reason to hesitate. You know fighting is the only answer here. You just have to accept it. <sighs> my apologies. I have a bad habit of agonizing over such things. And as all of you have come this far to help me, the least I can do is make an attempt at optimism. Man, I wonder if Dimitri is gonna become like a crazed boar later. I hope not, but you never know. All right, so I'll defeat Rufus. Uh, no de defeat condition. Okay, so it looks like I got three dark blues. It's a big map. Holy crap. It's a huge map. Uh, ooh, so we probably want to do on this side. We want Ingrid on this side, not that much is certain. Keep Mercedes on that side. I think I'll put Sylvain on this side because I want to command Dimitri, if I'm reading this right. Okay. Oh, convoy menu. Yeah, that's probably just like where all like the, uh, the stuff goes. Your basic inventory stuff. Alright. Let's just get yeah, do this. Let's just start the fight. As we feared, the soldiers are using the town's focus shields. What cowards! And our first priority is to secure the people's safety. Oh, I, oh this music. Da -da -da. I'll make short work of this. Begin the operation. Our orders are clear. Let's begin. It's time to move. I'll do what I can. It's worth a shot. We will proceed as planned. I guess I'll just 
slowly start bringing Dimitri up. And he's not strong against anyone right now on this side. We must strike. So I'll just have, I'll just have Mercedes or Mercedes just I'll guard him. Oh, I love this music. I'll do my best. I'm a little nervous about this. My uncle. Wait. We'll start by eliminating guards on the capital perimeter. Commence the attack. This will be split end. into two groups. They're coming. Shore up the defenses. All right, Chez, let's take out this stronghold because Dimitri is going to be weak against this guy. Got my perfect dodge. Get a crit. Perfect. I'm starting to get the hang of this now. Gotta keep aiming higher. Sweat there. Next. Ooh. Pot. Uh, yeah. We took the strongholds. Perimeter is secure. Things should be easier now that we know our backs are safe. Open All right. the gates and seize the town. But ensure no harm comes to the people. Okay, yeah. so there's this door. Is that this side? Yep. Begin so, Ingrid. The operation. Ingrid, go ahead and just take Our that uh, spot there. Here you and Sylvain, go and take this sure uh, spot on that side. Let's begin. And Dudu, go and just uh, try to take to down move. that guy. I'll do my best. And Ash, I'll just give him cover. I'll do what I can. Uh, Felix, you can go straight down to this uh, the shot. stronghold. We will proceed as planned. And Dimitri, go go to, to go to that one, to and then to the Mercedes, uh, go and give Dimitri some backup. Oh, this Volan Winds remix, I love large. it. We should divide and conquer. Hey, are the front gates still closed off? We should probably open them up so we can get reinforcements in here, yeah? Another crit. There we go. We might need another way out. See the stronghold and open the main gates. Let us take this stronghold. Clearly, that apple did not fall far from the tree. To think they would involve innocent people. We must end this battle as soon as we can. Let's take the stronghold. Now's our chance. Attack! Let us crush their defenses. Uh, I got a little bit of guys. I was trying to turn around so I can get more, but it was all right. I think I'm improving. We will proceed as we're. I think we're making pretty good progress, actually. Um, should we? Yeah, we should probably just conquer everything that's in here first. That looks like those might be blocked off for right now. So you know what, Dimitri, just just go on this side. Just kind of like we must take down those guys. To to the best of our ability. Felix is almost done taking that stronghold. So Blaine's almost done with that one. Begin the Ingrid operation. can move on. Go up there, Ingrid. Our are clear. Let's begin. It's time to move. I'll do my best. I'm a little nervous about this. And then where's Shez gonna go? I can just go in these uh, areas. Kind of like just 
conquer middle areas. Alright, Felix uh, conquered his area. Let's just use the combat art, make his thing show up. And crit! Pretty good progress. Uh, Dimitri, Dimitri, did you go and go it's down there? Since uh, Sylvain has weakness there. I'll do my best. Any chests around? Not open yet. Cause there's one over there, but it's not open yet. Here you. I'll make short work of this. I'll do what I can. It's worth a shot. Man, we're yeah, we're actually. Uh, Making pretty good progress on this stronghold. Come on, Chez. Take down his armor. Ah. There we go. He was using his combat art. I was able to take it out. Grant them no mercy. This is going, uh, uh, should I use my special ability? Probably not yet. I need to use it here. I'm just kind of mopping up, guys, so I don't really need to use a comp like my special move yet. There we go. Man, Jez is just mopping up. How's everyone doing? We will proceed as planned. <laughs> Man, Dimitri's just like kind of going up here, just kind of mopping up, mopping up everybody. Begin the operation. Our orders are clear. Hmm. Probably need to go any uh all the way around actually. In that case, fling open the gates. Sorry, your highness. Stole your thunder there. Oh. Your highness, you're all right. Some nights we we should have never let it come to this. Do not blame yourselves. However, you seek to make amends. Lend me your strength and help me reclaim the capital. Forgive me, my lord. There we go. Take down that guy. Our enemy is somewhat competent. Deal with this, Viscount Clyman. Ooh. Worry not, okay. Cornelia. We will save Prince Dimitri from that vile puppeteer who controls him. So, like, what? How do I get in here? We need to take care of those soldiers before we're boxed in. Okay. Um, these doors still aren't still aren't opening. Do my best. I'm a little nervous about this. Let's begin. Yeah, let's just. It's time to move. Do they go on that side. We will proceed as planned. 
Ooh, I wonder if it, ooh, I wonder if I should go up here and help the Matri out. We must strive to perform to the best of our ability. We will proceed. We must strive to perform yeah, to the best of our ability. They probably need ability. help up there. I'll do what I can. We march on me. Hear you loud and clear. Oh, that place is open now. I'll make short work of this. Begin the operation. Our orders are clear. Yeah, that's probably good. Where's Shez actually? Oh, I I'm right where they, right where they I are. I suggest we again divide our soldiers to deal with the multiple threats, Your Highness. Yeah, I should probably uh, go up to go help Dimitri. Because he's kind of by himself with Mercedes. Go, Shez! Run, Shez! Get up there. I don't need to worry about you guys. Get out of my way. I gotta help my boy Dimitri. Let's go, Dimitri! I'm coming, Dimitri! Perfect! <laughs> Level up, nice. Gotta keep aiming higher. This is just sad. Can we please hurry and get this battle over with? Uh, I can probably. I'll probably uh, control someone over here. I'll control Ingrid. Oh, uh, no, can I not control her? I thought I can control these. Wait, how come I can control Ash? Did I, did I read the thing wrong? <laughs> oh, I think I did. I think I did uh, read them wrong. God, it was supposed to be the other blues. God damn it. I'm a little nervous about this. Not a problem. I've got this. We will proceed as planned. We must strive to perform to the best of our ability. All right, so let's just... I'll do what I can. Ooh. Begin the... Our orders are clear. I'll do... I'm here to help. Yeah, let's just bring everyone up. Leave this to me. <laughs> Come on, Ash. <laughs> Shot. Seize this moment. Let's save the stronghold. Get a mash. But the thought is we were able to keep the people out of harm's way. Please, Your Highness, you must see reason. We are only doing our duty. Take him into custody. I have a lot of questions for him. At once, Your Highness. Perfect. Man. <laughs> the town should be safe for the time being. Let's press on to the castle. Archers are kind of badass. The castle with the drawbridges up. These people are hopelessly outnumbered. Unleash our units from the strongholds and crush them all. This could be our chance. There are controls by the castle gates that lower the drawbridges. We can do so from within the strongholds. Perfect. Your Highness, the troops that escaped the castle have taken up position in the surrounding strongholds. Should I control Shez again? Probably. Well, I can 
Actually, let's let's control Mercedes. Let's give it a shot. Not a problem. I've got this. We will proceed as planned. We must strive to perform to the best of our ability. Uh, Ash, go best. go open that treasure chest really quick. Let's move. Begin the operation. Our orders are clear. Let's begin. It's time to move. Hear you loud and clear. I'll make short work of this. I'll do what I can. It's worth a shot. Allow me. <sighs> that won't do. We must retake them at once and ensure the town is safe for good. Let's go. If you're here to rescue us, give us the honor of joining you in battle. Ooh. Got some reinforcements? Let us take this stronghold. Now is our chance. Attack! <laughs> Man, it's so it's so long like running with someone who lets like not Shez. <laughs> because Shez can like do that little sprint. This stronghold will fall! Grant them no mercy. There we go. Light magic. <laughs> and oh yeah, they'll they'll uh, HP recovery. Some will not. So basically, like just whatever it says. Let us crush their defenses. This area is secure. Not a moment to soon seize. Perfect. That's the last of the strongholds. We should be much quieter around here from now on. Man, I miss I miss a net though. <laughs> I want I want to play as a net. I'm stronger. Uh, where are we going? Oh, we gotta go up there. Ew. Okay. We will proceed as planned. We must strive to perform to the best of our ability. Hear you loud and clear. I'll make short work of this. I'll do my best. I'll back them up. Okay. Let's begin. Uh, oh, ooh, you just move. you just finish off him. Uh, no, it, um, no. Ingrid's just about let's done, begin. so let's just let's just send to do up here. It's time to move. I'll do what I can. It's worth a shot. Not a problem. And Jess. I've got this. Ah, uh, it takes so long. <laughs> takes so long to get anywhere. Oh, oh. and of course, the levers. The entrance is blocked. We need to find another way in. Let us crush their defenses. Magic, kind of just like get them on their feet. 
kind of like focusing right now. I'm like being kind of quiet. <laughs> Run to go get that crit. Uh, is the levers in here? Oh, yep, yeah, there's one. Good. Now, if we lower the other drawbridge, we'll be able to attack the enemy from both sides. I clearly underestimated the royal wealth. Time for someone to put him in his place. No reinforcements. Man. <laughs> I'm kind of sad that I freaking misread the, the things. Because I didn't want to control Ash and just Mercedes. There we go, there's the other one. Ash, don't shoot the thing. You gotta out operate the thing. Now that we have access to both the east and west bridges, it's time to breach the capital, corner the traitors, and strike them down. Oh, Cornelia. My, this is your lucky day. I've decided that you deserve my personal attention. Oh, and Rufus, all right. Ah, fate. You truly are whimsical. Will today mark my death or his? By the way, this boss will finally come to a close. Okay, it will come to a close. You're gonna frickin' die. Can I can I get up there for this way? No, it doesn't look like it. it. Looks like we have to go all the way around. Do we have to go all the way around? Looks like we do, because like those are X's. God damn it! <laughs> oh oh, I can I control Sylvain. Let's let's control Sylvain. I'll make short work of this. Make short work of this. Stand back. Let's run. Oh, oh, I'm lost. <laughs> uh, we're just running. Roderick, what the hell are you doing? Get to the fight. Oh, why the long faces? Does our hospitality displease you so? Oh my, what a fascinating <laughs> power you possess. I'm coming! Sure is. But if you think I need it to beat you, think again. Every moment I stare at you vexes me more. You should have died. Let's just kill these guys so I can and yet, just death. not worry about death them. Comes for you, Cornelia. <laughs> What the? Ow! Jeez! Jeez! Ah, oh, get that crit going! Oh my god! Ugh! Oh. So many you're kind of getting feels. your ass kicked out for a second. This bridge. What? The I still got out of that. Jeez. 
Oh, you poor dears. I've never seen so many deluded fools in one place. Oh. Man, it's so vain. You're getting, you're getting your ass kicked. <laughs> Uh. Hey, how you doing, Chez? That's more like it. It wouldn't feel like a real fight if I simply tore you limb from limb right out of the gate. Don't let up. We can break her. Take down her shield. None of this would be happening if not for that old man Take down her shield. There we go. Oh, look at me getting wrapped up in my fun again. But sadly, I must bid you farewell. Ah, oh, she retreated again. She's slippery, that one. Do we seriously have to go all the way around? There's no way, right? There's no way. There's no way we have to go all the way around. Shall we? There's absolutely no way we have to go all the way around. There's no way. I'll make sure. That sucks. <laughs> Get on my way. <laughs> Just conquer this stronghold really quick. Hey, you tried. <laughs> We're almost there. We're almost there. Man, so bad you're getting you're getting your ass kicked. Hey, you tried. My God, so bad. You are actually getting your ass kicked. Let's go. Let's go. Let's kill this guy. So, it's come to this at last. If you want my head, then come to my head. The awakened state. On our pride as knights, we will defend our knees to the last. Let's get him. A man and a monster can never come to common purpose. Oh my god. You're the most ludicrous of accusations because of you. And yet, they're all true. Oh my god. Jesus Christ. Shez, calm down. Holy shit. Uh, Mercedes, where are you? Heal. Oh wait, does, does it just heal everybody? Oh, I think it just heals everybody. Oh, cool. 
<laughs> Man. What are you waiting for, monster? Kill me. Avenge your father. Find that man and take him away. Your Highness, we are moving Rufus to a cell and preparing him for questioning. Good. Thank you. I will join you shortly. Raise your voices with me, friends. You fought hard this day, and now victory is ours. Victory! We have victory! Rank A? Not bad. Oh, this is level two. I feel stronger. Actual five. I think I'm improving. I suppose I've improved. Everyone has level ups. My God. I think I've grown. I must keep aiming higher. All right. And MVP. Hell here. yeah, definitely shows. <laughs> definitely shows. Gotta keep aiming higher. Uh, oh yeah. Look at that. This will help me break new boundaries. I think I'm getting the hang of this. <laughs> I think I've learned something new. This will help everyone out. Combat arts. Yeah, we we've, we've been mostly using those to be honest. I think it's just pretty straightforward. How can I best use this power? How can I best use this power? I could use this. Could you? Burn and bow plus plus three, what the heck? Yo? Wow. Got a lot of stuff there. Got some money? Ooh, cutscene. Something you feel like saying? No. All traitors get put to the sword. It's his duty as king. Final words? None for you. But tell me something, boy. Does it trouble you to slay your own kin? What a surprise. I did not think you capable of sympathy, craven monster that you are. Yes. But either way, I do what I must. Well, to perish by your hand. It is a fate that I much deserve. Jesus. At the uh, the roots, which leads the, the lords Elidor, Mateus, and Clyman. Who is this? We believe they, as well as many powerful Western lords, were accomplices in the assassination of the late king. Along with the Grand Duke, they seem to have received large sums of money and supplies is... from the imperial nobility. Is this? What's his name again? Sylvain's dead? Thinking this, this to be recompense for this the assassination in Dusker, we investigated the link further. In 1171, the mage Cornelia arranged for a certain powerful imperial family to come to the kingdom. That's the year when my step-uncle, Lord Arundel, brought Edelgard here in exile. Correct. We think Lord Arundel and his followers were behind the matter. They have deep ties to the Imperial household. As I suspected. 
You're a clever man, Margrave Gautier. Well done. Yeah, it is. Oh, that's cool. Thank you, Your Highness. If we continue wringing information out of them at this pace, we'll soon have a clear picture of what transpired. My uncle's attendants must also confess to the slaughter in Dusker. But now that things have come this far, we can't expect the Western Lords to stay silent. We need a way to keep them far from power. Oh, there are always ways, provided you're willing to keep all your options open. Yes, I suppose so. Let us speak more of this later. For now, spread word of what you have found to every palace and pub in the land. That should help keep the Lords in check. Is that wise, Your Highness? If we announce that Rufus was involved in the tragedy of Dusker... I will not feed my people half-truths. They deserve to know. I've always admired that candor, Your Highness. Yet such news is sure to create a degree of unrest in the kingdom. So you suggest we bury the truth? Should it somehow come to light, the people's faith in me will be forever shaken. If the kingdom is ever to part ways with our bloody past, this is the path we must walk. Fine words, though I doubt they'll appease the people of Dusker, nor the rest of Fargus, many of whom will not be so quick to forgive. <laughs> we thought you might say as much, which is why His Highness and I have devised a solution. I will resign the title of Duke and pass it to my heir. Spare me, Rodrigue. One person with wild ideas is already one too many. It's not wild at all, Matthias. Someone must bear responsibility for what happened in Dusker. People will naturally seek to point the finger at His Highness, and we need him unsullied if he is to lead. Someone has to get down in the mud and bear the slings and arrows for him. Who better for such a task than me? Rodrigue will abandon his title and work with Dudu to restore harmony between our people. I'm not asking him to take his life. Rather, he offered to spend it to set things to rights. In that case, we've only to deal with the issue of the throne. I believe we should move forward with your coronation straight away. I agree. My time at the Officers' Academy was a valuable experience. But I belong here now. Obviously, Felix won't be able to return either. Have him come to me later, so I can deliver the news and an apology. I've already had a word and told him what must be done. You've no need to apologize. <laughs> yes, I have. As for you, Gustav, you'll also be staying here in the kingdom. But I abandoned my homeland. There can be no place for me in Fargus. I will make a place for you. I need your help. Lady Rhea will understand. Gilbert, don't be like this again. It... It would be my great honor, Your Highness. Send word to the church and the lords. Count Galatea will be in charge of contacting the south. Now, there's another topic I'd like to discuss. I wish to reorganize my army. Since I have you all assembled, I'd like to hear your suggestions. Oh, okay. <laughs> I guess, I guess we don't Dimitri? hear us. Have you even slept since the battle? <laughs> Never mind that. There's a favor I've been meaning to ask of you. It won't happen right away. But I'm considering the formation of a new private army. I need someone to captain them. And I was hoping it might be you. And what does the leader of the kingdom need with a private army? I fear my uncle may have rubbed off on too many of my knights. I'm not saying they're all bad. But it's clear as day that bribery ran rampant. To rectify the matter, I'm looking into a complete reorganization of the army. Makes sense. These next several years will be an age of civil war. And I want to be surrounded with the best and most loyal soldiers I can find. Well, that does sound interesting. Still, I'm just a regular old grunt. Why put me in charge? Because this will be an army of commoners. Not knights and nobles. A mercenary like you is far more likely to earn their trust than some stuffy noble who's never known a day of hardship. Please, allow me to be clear. This is not an order. If you'd rather return to the academy, you're free to do so. Are you kidding? Hell no. I'm in. Thank you, Dimitri. Having put down Rufus's revolt and ended his uncle's life, Dimitri draws closer to the truth regarding the tragedy of Dusker and also begins the process of ascending the throne.
All the while, the Adrestian Empire deals with a fierce power struggle in its capital, Anbar, while the Leicester Alliance finds themselves pitted against an invading Olmyran horde. Realizing the troubles of Fodlin will fall squarely on her young student's shoulders, Archbishop Rhea closes the Officer's Academy and permits her charges to return home. Oh. So the Officer's Academy closes. Azure Gleam. To war. To war? Already? It is the end of 1181. Two years have passed since Two? the Officer's what? Academy already? closed what? its doors. Time skip already? After ascending the throne, Dimitri oh, labors to bring peace to the Holy Dimitri. Kingdom of Fargus. With Edelgard ruling as the Emperor of Adrestia oh, and Claude leading the Lester Alliance, my favorite design in the favorite three design erstwhile in the game. schoolmates strike out as the next generation of leaders. A new era is dawning in Fodlan and much teeters at the brink of great change. The first tremors of a major upheaval rock the land as Edelgard declares war on the Central Church. Oh, what, what else is new? Oh, everyone looks Pardon so my good. Lateness, your majesty. You needn't worry, Felix. I know your duties are many, though I'm afraid we could not wait for you to begin the discussion. This is about the Empire's declaration of war against the Central Church, yes? Indeed. As you're aware, we have already begun accepting refugees from Garrett Mock. But a few days ago, I received a confidential request from Seteth, asking us to protect the higher-ranking members of the Church, including Lady Rhea herself. Of course, we'd only meet this eventuality were Garrett mocked to fall. As it stands, we find ourselves quite literally stuck between the Empire and the Church. I'm not if I might, your I'm majesty, sorry, Dimitri. Troubling as it may be, I believe it prudent for us to reject this proposal from the Church outright. Offering them shelter will only serve to provoke an invasion from the Empire. This matter of the Southern Church concerns me as well, but I believe we have more important matters to be fussing over at the moment. Your counsel is much appreciated, Viscount Elador, but I assure you, things are not as cut and dry as you make them out to be. The mandate granted to the King of Fargus and all the lords who serve under him is given legitimacy only by the grace of the Church. Are we to renounce the very heart of this kingdom? simply because we shudder at the thought of invasion. War will always come, at one point or another. And some degree of suffering is purely inevitable. You know this as well as I, Viscount. You dare speak of suffering, do you? When the blaze of war will not scorch your lands in the north as it does ours? I would normally agree that those of us from the northern territory should hold less sway in this discussion. But if Garrick Mach were to fall, the war front would not halt in the west. Your Majesty, what of House Roe or Galatea, or the others in the south? Not a word from Count Roe as it stands. But I did receive a missive from Count Galatea. It read, my people are not fools enough to rejoice in the surrender of their territories to invaders. There is no morality in turning our backs on the institution at the very foundation of our lives. We must support the Church as they have supported us. Your Majesty, we owe a great debt to the Central Church for their role in quelling the uprising two years ago. To not repay such generosity and kind would risk weakening the trust of your vassals. And if that happens, we might find ourselves right back in the same mess as before. They lack the crest of Blathed, but there's no small number of nobles who might crawl out of the woodwork claiming royal blood. The kingdom's already seen the turmoil and division such claimants can bring after the death of King Klaus. But Duke Fraldarius, surely we are better served attempting to head off the very real and imminent war at hand instead of debating hypothetical unrest? I don't want my people to suffer the pain of conflict. But does anyone here really think the Empire will simply stop if we appease their every demand? 
Suppose we do let the Empire take the Archbishop. And suppose we accept this new Southern Church. Then what? I imagine the Empire plans to install the Bishop of the Southern Church, Count Varley, in Lady Rhea's place. I fear I've heard nothing good concerning either the man himself or his teachings. They purport to be an arm of the Church of Seros, but the Southern Church is nothing more than a mouthpiece for the Empire at large. In other words, rejecting the Central Church in favor of this new Southern one would be no different from flat-out accepting Imperial rule. It's hard to say just how they would treat our kingdom were such events to unfold. Though I imagine it would involve heavy taxation for the express purpose of bleeding Fargus dry and... <sighs> Do you have something to add, Duke Fraldarius? Not really, no. I was just wondering how long we were planning to continue this tedious charade. The question's simple. Do we hand over our kingdom and subject ourselves to imperial rule or not? I believe the Margrave has been quite clear as to what will happen if we give in to the Empire's demands. We've all been informed of the rapid reformation their region has undergone. Many aspects of which I admire are not a sh but an old, stubborn land like ours isn't suited for such tempestuous change. Radical new freedoms are not what the people of Fargus need right now. They need stability, steady improvement in their daily lives, and real, lasting change can only come from a solid foundation. Sounds like your majesty has made up his mind then. Just say the word and we'll leap into action. <clears throat> The Holy Kingdom of Fargus will hereby offer asylum to the Church of Seros. Everyone, sharpen your blades and prepare for the battles ahead. Man, we've we've heard so many of like the lines in the trailers already. That's another one that's added to the list. Gustav, to do, make to ride at once. Our intentions must be made clear, not only to the Church and the Empire, but to Count Roe as well. And all the other lords who failed to answer my summons. I'm just not saying much because I'm actually like uh, I'm just really listening to the story right now. <laughs> I think I'm interested in it in it quite quite a lot. Understood, Your Majesty. Hey, did you hear? It sounds like we're gonna be going to Jeez, war Lord. with the Empire. Oh my God, there's so much story. Yeah, I'm aware. Ever since His Majesty ascended the throne, we've been fighting battle after battle through every corner of Fargus. But I never thought we'd be going toe-to-toe -to -toe with the actual Empire. I'd be nervous if it even felt real. Don't worry. It'll start feeling very real very quick once the swords start swinging. You know, that might be the single worst attempt at motivational speaking I've ever heard. Not that I'm much surprised at this point. I can't help but wonder, though. What happens to Fargus now? I feel like things have been steadily improving lately. But not everyone favors His Majesty as I do. Yeah, I hear the grumbles, too. But there's not a ruler in the world who doesn't have their fair share of critics, right? All I know is, we wouldn't be where we are now if not for him. I mean, look at me. Saddled with some mysterious power we don't know anything about, and he still chose to put his faith in me. It's only right I return the favor in kind. Oh, and speak of the devil. Am I interrupting something? No, of course not. Please, allow me to take my leave. Your Majesty, Commander. So, you heard all that, huh? Oh boy, Dimitri, you heard that? Oh no. More or less. I apologize for the interruption, but there's an urgent matter at hand. Anything I can do to help? There is. As you know, we've offered asylum to the Central Church in their efforts to flee the Empire. As such, we are to escort the Archbishop herself to the Royal Capital at once. I expect heavy pursuit from the Imperial forces, so I am assembling a team of those I trust most to assist in the mission. Of course, I'll be leading my own regiment into battle. But I was wondering if you'd be willing to accompany me. What, is that it? I'd be glad to. How are things looking at Garrick Mach while we're on the subject? Grim. Neither the Knights of Seros nor the Monastery Ramparts are capable of holding off the Empire's massive military might. I dare say we have precious little time to waste. Prepare to deploy at once. Air 
Erebar owner. Ooh, he has Erebar now. Haggis Shield owner. Oh, that's Felix's thing. And Luna owner. That's oh, that's Ingrid's uh, relic. Cool. Oh, there, <laughs> there's Arville. Your tan is rather nice, isn't it? I suppose it pays to be a commander. Hmm. You said it. Things are totally different here compared to what a small time outfits I used to r run with. <laughs> now I've got my own place where I can get back and keep all my stuff in order. This probably means they'll be expect a lot from you. More than your title implies, I would imagine. That reminds me. Yeesh. This camp is something else. Did you see how many merchants we got? How tiresome. Are you finished sightseeing yet? I believe I heard your employer calling for you. Base camp. So this is basically the explorer day. Rodrigue? Oh, interesting. Okay. <gasps> and has rejoined you. <gasps> Look at that. Ugh. That was a lot of talking though. So, <laughs> I'm not going to talk with anyone right now. I'm going to save that for next episode. And I feel like this next episode is going to be all the talking in this explore day. That's uh, probably what's going to happen. So, let's uh, get that done tomorrow. Like, next, next video, huh? Come on. Thank you guys for watching. And I don't know, I'm, I think I said this uh, previously, but like, I'm, I'm, I'm really liking the game, like the combat wise and everything and, oh, and the story. Um, I, I'm going to love this game already. And I hope you guys are, are going to love it too. But anyway, thank you guys for watching and hopefully you'll catch me in the next episode of Red, Red Leader Plays Fire Emblem Three Hopes. See you guys next time. This has been Red Leader, signing off.